Hello everybody, welcome to my second video for my Lua tutorial series. Today we are going to learn how to make variables and get a better understanding of the difference between local and global variables. Um, if you haven't heard those terms before and you're not familiar with what they are, um, global variables are essentially variables that can be accessed on a global scale. Uh, think of it as in if you have one folder or one add-on and another add-on and add-on A has a variable called um, Mac zombies and add-on B wants to use that. Um, the only way add-on B is going to be able to use that variable is if our Mac zombies variable is a global variable. If we create a local variable then that variable is only going to exist in that file and its specific location. So um, a quick example of a variable is uh, we're going to write out a local variable. So whenever you write a variable, um, specifically a local one, you're going to write local. Then it's going to be followed by the name of the variable. Um, this can be called whatever. I'm just going to call it my name. And my name is Dan. So I'm going to assign it a string value of Dan. And to write a string, you're going to use quotes. It could be either double or single. Um, and now if I go ahead and print my name and save this, go in game, you can see it says print Dan. Um, now notice if I go something like this and I write my name in quotes, it's going to write my name. It's not going to look up the value of my name because it's saying, hey, this is a string. This isn't a reference to any other value. So whenever you pass in a variable like this, my name, it looks up that value. Another thing to keep in mind, code reads top, top to bottom. So if I go ahead and write my name equals Ted right here, and then I save it, you now see that it says Ted. I'm just going to save that one more time. See Ted. And the reason why you see Ted is because, well, one, we initialize the variable here, and then on line three, we're like, hey, we're going to update this variable. We no longer want it to be Dan. It is going to be Ted. Another thing is we can create multiple variables. So we could say local age equals 19. And you'll notice that this is a little different than Dan and Ted. This is a number value. I could write it like this in quotes, and that would simply be a string. But the thing is, since this uh, is a number value, if we ever want to perform math with it, if we have it written as a string, we won't be able to perform math with it. So we have to make sure we keep our data types correct. In this case, it is an integer. So if I go ahead and print my name and age, and now you can see it says Ted and 19. I'm going to go ahead and just update this one more time and just say Dan. Now you can see Dan and 19. Um, real quick, just so we can actually understand uh, what is being printed a little bit easier, we're going to go ahead and do some concatenation. Essentially what concatenation is, you take one string and you build upon it and you kind of extend um, your, your text. So if I would do something like this and say my name is, and do concatenation and say my name, and I am age years old. Just a quick explanation. We take this string, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build upon it. So we do dot 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 my name, and then we want to build upon that further. So we do another dot dot to concatenate and concatenate this. Then we want to concatenate the value of the age, and then we want to concatenate this additional text to finish it off. So if I save it, go in, you can see my name is Dan, and I'm 19 years old. So now we can see the difference, um, I'm sorry, the specific values of each variable in a neat way. Okay, so now real quick, just to get a quick understanding of uh, local variables, whenever we um, establish one, if I establish it on line three, since it is a local variable, I go ahead and try to print my name, you're going to see in console nil. The reason why nil is happening is because my name doesn't exist on line two. It was established on line three, updated on line four, and then printed here and here. But in this case, whenever the code is executed, this value does not exist at the time, so it has a nil value. Um, and that goes the same for different files. If I want to go in here and say print my name, notice that this is the shared file of our add-on. I'm going to go ahead and print my name. You can see we get nil right there as well. Just to save it one more time, nil again. So yeah, we know that this variable is not working in this file. Okay, and that's a little unfortunate in some cases, but for uh, most common cases, it tends to be what you want because you want to be able to use your own names. This can be 
as little as X, Y, um, and any 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 name you want to call it, as long as you're not overriding another local variable or global variable case. Um, so your local variables, they can be called whatever you want. If I want to create, um, for example, a config, maybe, um, let's say I want to have the name of this add-on, I want to be able to use that name in multiple files, I could do something like this. And I could say, um, my add-on underscore uh, name equals tutorial add-on. Now notice I did my add-on underscore name. That is a lot more complicated than my name. The reason is global variables, like I said, have to be unique. This is the same to whenever you're going to name a file. You want to make sure that these do not clash with any other add-ons. So you want to be very, very, very mindful whenever you're creating a variable. So if I go ahead and I print my add-on for name, so we get tutorial add-on. Cool, it works in this file, we know that. Now we're gonna go here and we're gonna see if it works in this file. The name of the add-on is my add-on underscore name. And would you look at that? The name of the add-on is tutorial add-on. It was created here, but it could be accessed in this file and it could be accessed in this file if we want it to, since this is a shared shared global variable, meaning it is accessible from both the client and the server. Um, so the same rules apply for um, global variables and local variables. They can be any form of data types. Uh, just to name a quick few, um, you have a Boolean or a integer or a float or a table or a function. It can be pretty much anything you want. So you can use these to your advantage whenever you're creating your code, create neat, neat, nice configs, um, and just have things structured in a, a very uh, nicer way. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for global and local variables. If there's anything I missed in this tutorial, please feel free to comment below any questions that you have. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll do my best to answer any comments down below. So again, thank you guys so much. Take care.